So AI currently is the talk of the town and there is no denying the fact that it's not just a buzzword anymore. People need to take AI seriously because the world is changing rapidly now with the advent of AI and specifically with all these big tech companies heavily investing on it. I know a lot of people would still be a bit skeptical about it but I personally feel that it is going to come and as a result, as a college student, especially if you're watching this video, it's high time that you probably explore this field and do some basic projects to understand how AI is already there and how we are using it uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. And if you make these projects that I'm going to talk about in this video, you will be able to relate with it. So in this video, I will be talking about seven projects that you can make in AI. I would also be talking about the things that would be required on a high level to build out these projects. And these are basically a good project ideas that you can include in your CV as well, in your resume as well, that will help you to get jobs. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a software engineer at Google and I've also worked for companies like Amazon on Salesforce. And I make a lot of tech content on software engineering, Java, data structure. So if you haven't checked out my channel yet, go and check it out. Now let's continue with the video. So the first project that I'm going to suggest you guys to build is a recommendation system. So uh, first of all, let's understand the current use case that we have when it comes to recommendation systems. So when you land up on the YouTube homepage, you would see already few videos that are there on your feed, which you haven't searched for, but still they are in your feed. So what ID happens behind the backend is YouTube, based on your past behaviors, suggests you few videos, right? And that is exactly where the recommendation algorithm comes in. Another example would be when you open Netflix, you get movie suggestions or web series suggestions that Netflix thinks you might be interested to you know, watch. And, and in that way, what ideally happens is these companies or these platforms are able to get more user time, thereby increasing the time spent by that particular user on that platform. So from the business angle, it's definitely very important for these companies to build a good recommendation system. And from the user perspective as well, it's a very nice thing to have. So it's a win-win situation for all. So now let's see how can we build our very own recommendation system. So we will build a project that will let users rate movies and the system uses the data to recommend similar films that they might enjoy. So let's understand what are the tech stacks that would be required and what are the tools and libraries that would be helpful for you to build such a recommendation system. So for the tech stack, you would use Python, you would use Pandas for data manipulation, SciSkit to learn for the algorithms, and you can use any wave frameworks of your choice like Django, Flask, etc, etc. Now there's one simple thing which you have to understand when it comes to a uh, recommendation system. One is collaborative filtering which uses user ratings to recommend while another one is content-based filtering which uses movie features like genre to recommend, right? So you can use a mixture of both or you can use any one of them. Now, second project is a very, very commonly uh, built project and I've seen a lot of my classmates back during my college days building it. And this project idea is to recognize handwritten digits from images. So the idea of this project is you would have some handwritten digits that are being written by humans and you would upload it as an image and the computer or your model would determine that hey which particular digit is this so though this project looks very trivial it would be very helpful in digitizing forms or automating data entry so what you would do is you would train a classifier like a cnn convolutional neural network and the tech stack for this would be python tensorflow or keras for the deep learning frameworks that you would require OpenCV obviously would be required for the image processing libraries you can either use a matplotlib or a cbon for the visualization part and uh, for the more details you can read about cnns which are the standard for the image recognitions now third project is one of my favorites that is sentiment analysis of social media posts so now a few days back i was searching for hotels in goa and i couldn't figure out uh, like which is the best hotel to go for i was going to the user reviews but there were a lot of user reviews for a particular hotel and some some were saying that it's good some were saying it's bad some reviews were mixed so you know it, it was taking a lot of my time to figure out that what is the general sentiment or what is the general review of this particular hotel so now what this hotel booking app did well was they had actually created a summary of user reviews right and they had created a sentiment analysis kind of thing uh, where they were showing that hey this percentage of views are positive and this percentage of uh, reviews are negative so that helped me to come to a quick decision of whether to go and book that hotel or not so you would build a similar sort of thing so i would tell you exactly how so you can pick any social media platform like let's say twitter facebook and you would analyze tweets, Facebook posts or reviews to determine whether the sentiment is positive, negative 
on your trip. You got to understand that companies spend millions to understand what people say online, and your project would automatically gauge public opinion on a topic, helping brands to understand their customers better as well as enrich the user experience. Now the tech stack would be Python, NLT cross PC for the natural language processing, TextLog or Vader sentiment for the sentiment analysis, libraries you can use Tweety for Tweeted API or Facebook Graph API. Please note that the pre-processing of the data for this project is going to be extremely crucial and by pre-processing I mean uh, removing stop words, tokenization etc etc. Now the fourth project is a very simple yet a very useful one so you can target this project if you're getting started with machine learning and that is spam email classification so i'm very sure you all have an email account and all bombarded with all, all sorts of spam emails and what these top mailing apps does really well is they help us to classify the spam emails from the important emails so that would really make our lives better so you have to build a similar sort of model that would classify an email into either non-spam email or a spam email and you would use features like email content, send information, metadata. For the text type part, you would again use Python, SciSkitLearn, NLT or SPACI for feature extraction. You can use any of the email libraries for parsing emails. And from the algorithms perspective, you would either use a 9 bias or a support vector machine SVM algorithm. Fifth one is a building a stock price indicators. So let's say you would predict that what would be the future price of a particular stock, whether it would rise, whether it would fall down. So, you know, a better way of doing this can be going to any investor friend or any of your friend who is into trading and show your project and uh, take some insights, like take the domain knowledge from him so that it helps your model and who knows, your friend might uh, as well use it and uh, that would help you to gain some profits. So, we'll build a model to predict stock prices based on historical data, technical indicators and use sentiment. You would use Python, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, and Keras for the models. Why Finance for data fetching. For the libraries, you would use Matplotlib for the visualization. You can use the Profit uh, Facebook's time series forecasting library and uh, go and learn about time series models like Arima, LSTM. These are suitable for stock price predictions. Sixth one is one of the projects that I personally think you should take seriously and you should build one that is the medical image analysis for example in detecting tumors so in this project basically the idea is to use CNNs to detect medical anomalies like tumors from our x-ray or an MRI scan report so ideally this project would help doctors to find potential issues in medical images it's not a replacement for experts but it's just another tool to help you fight the disease so for this you would use python tensorflow or pytorch for deep learning open cv uh, libraries would be enabled for medical image formats and as i said you need to know about cnns which cause this would be useful for tasks like Tumor segmentation. Now, seventh is a real world problem, and especially in this world of social media where there's a lot of misinformation. People just keep on posting anything without no credibility and no responsibility and no accountability. And then these other people tend to believe it as well. So we can actually create an informed society by stopping all these fake news from spreading, and that's where we can chip in and build a project like a fake news detector. So the idea is to build a model to identify fake news articles based on features like language style, source credibility and social media spread. So the text stack that we would use is Python, Scikit, Learn or Keras, NLTK or Spacey. You can use the newspaper 3K which is uh, which would be an important library for the news article fetching and you would require a bit of feature engineering, textual and metadata for the model performance. So these are all the seven projects that I want to talk about in this very video. Now there are a couple of important considerations that you need to make. First thing is the data. So please understand your quality and the quantity of data that you would be using for training these models is extremely crucial because the performance of your model will depend a lot on this data and that is just basic AI stuff. You need to find relevant data sets or maybe in some cases have to scrape data yourself. So be a bit careful with that. Make sure that you don't land up in very trouble. The second would be to make your models publicly available. For that, you can use a web interface or use some cloud or simple command line interface. And you know, when you will be showing your project to the recruiters or the hiring manager, this, this step would also be beneficial and would look really nice. And the third thing which I personally feel is important is uh, bringing ethical considerations into tables, special, special in this world of AI. And most importantly, when you will be building sensitive projects like fake news detection or medical analysis. So this is a good thing to keep in mind because these are the questions you might come across while you would be interviewing and explaining these projects. And uh, it's better to keep a note of these things. So that's all for this video. These are all the seven projects that I wanted to talk about. Do let me know if you want uh, more such AI content on my channel uh, because of late I, I am also researching a bit on AI and machine learning and stuff though I'm not an expert in AI in any way 
and till date i'm a software engineer but uh, if you want i can share all the learnings that i have done or i'm currently up to with you guys so that you also stay updated with me so do let me know down in comments if you want similar such videos or any other videos of any genre uh, that you want to from me and i would be more than happy to make those videos uh, till then stay safe goodbye and you will see you in some next video